therefore angle x plus angle y is equal to 90 degrees now let's call this equation one so we are going to continue our lesson on plane geometry one as we solve a couple of examples now let's start off with example one find the value of y find the value of y now in this figure we have three lines meeting at a point and at the point of intersection three angles are formed now the sum of these angles around the point is equal to 360 degrees so what we are going to do is we are going to add all these angles up and then we equate that to 360 degrees so that we can find the value of y so angles around a point sum up to 360 degrees therefore we have 4y plus 50 plus 2y plus 10 equals 360 degrees now let's simplify this to find the value of y so 4y plus 2y is 6y 50 plus 10 is 60 and that is equal to 360 degrees so we have 6y equals we transpose 60 to the right hand side so 360 minus 60 we have 6y equals 300 degrees and then we divide through by 6 and we have the value of y to be 50 degrees therefore the value of y is equal to 50 degrees now to example 2 here we have a straight line and we know that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees so angles on a straight line adds up to 180 degrees therefore we have p plus 100 plus 50 equals 180 so p plus 100 plus 50 is 150 equals 180 we transpose 150 to the right hand side and then we have the value of p to be 30 degrees so this is the value of p now let's move on to our next example so for example 3 find the value of a in the figure below now in this figure we have two lines intersecting at this point that is the point o now in the previous lesson we said that when two lines intersect at a point we have four angles being formed and the angles that are opposite to each other are called vertically opposite angles and these vertically opposite angles are equal so in this figure the angle m o r and the angle n o q are vertically opposite angles so we say that vertically opposite angles are equal therefore angle m o r is equal to angle n o q m o r n o q so if these two angles are equal then we have angle m o r to be 120 degrees so 120 is equal to angle n o q so that is a plus 50 so a plus 50 degrees since we want to find the value of a 
we are going to transpose 50 to the left hand side so we have 120 minus 50 and that is equal to a therefore we have a to be equal to 70 so the value of a is 70 degrees now let's try some word problems example 4 if 7x plus 45 and 15 minus x are supplementary find x if 7x plus 45 and 15 minus x are supplementary find x so what do we know about supplementary angles now in the previous video we said that two angles are said to be supplementary if they add up to 180 degrees so if these two angles are supplementary then it means that 7x plus 45 plus 15 minus x should be equal to 180 degrees so since 7x plus 45 and 15 minus x are supplementary they add up to 180 degrees therefore 7x plus 45 plus 15 minus x is equal to 180 degrees now let's simplify so we have 7x minus x plus 45 plus 15 equals 180 7x minus x is 6x 45 plus 15 is 60 so we transpose 60 to the right hand side we have 180 minus 60 and then 6x equals 180 minus 60 is 120 we divide through by 6 and then we have x equals 6 goes into 12 2 times so we have x equals 20 so this is the value of x 20 degrees example 5 angle x and angle y are complementary angles given that angle y is equal to one fifth of angle x calculate the value of angle x in degrees So from the question, we are being told that angle X and angle Y are complementary angles. Now we know that two angles are said to be complementary if they add up to 90 degrees. So we say that complementary angles add up to 90 degrees. Therefore, angle X plus angle Y is equal to 90 degrees. Now let's call this equation 1. Now for the second statement, given that angle Y is equal to one fifth of angle X. So given that angle Y is equal to one fifth of angle X. So this is one fifth of angle X. Now let's call this equation two. Now we are asked to calculate the value of angle X in degrees. Now we have two equations. We can solve them simultaneously. Since we have angle Y equals one fifth of angle X for equation two, we are going to substitute equation two into equation one to find angle X in degrees. So put equation 2 into equation 1 so we have angle x plus now in place of angle y we have one fifth of angle x so 1 over 5 times angle x equals 90 degrees now let's simplify this expression that is the term on the left hand side 
so we have angle x over 1 plus 1 over 5 or better still angle x over 5 equals 90 degrees the LCM between 1 and 5 is 5 5 divided by 1 is 5 times angle x is 5 angle x plus 5 divided by 5 is 1 1 times angle x is angle x so this is equal to 90 now we can cross multiply at this point so here we have 5 angle x plus angle x that is 6 angle x and that is equal to 5 times 90 is 450 now obviously 6 angle x times 1 is 6 angle x so we can divide through by 6 to find the value of angle x 450 divided by 6 is 75 therefore we have angle x to be equal to 75 degrees so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye